What's up guys, Jade's Corner back here again for a new What If video. And before we get into this video, about 61% of you guys who watch these videos are not subscribed. So if you could please subscribe to the channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. And if you enjoy What If stories like this, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications as mentioned before, so that you never miss a future upload from me. And if you enjoy Teen Wolf content, this is the number one channel for you. Now, in today's video, the what if scenario is the sequel to last week's episode, what if Scott McCall killed Peter at the end of season four? This is gonna be what if Scott McCall killed Liam Dunbar during the events of season five, episode 10. So without further ado, let's hop right in to this what if story. The events of this story take place around season five, episode 10, also known as Status Athmicus specifically around the time Liam fights Scott in the school library. In this timeline, Scott McCall has killed Jennifer Blake, his arch nemesis Peter Hale, and has been relatively successful and has had a relatively successful record when it comes to dealing with supernatural threats that plague Beacon Hills, until one enemy so personal came into play that it destroyed the entire pack from the inside, or at least that's what happened in the original Teen Wolf timeline. In this alternate reality, after the events of season four, the Dread Doctors arrived in Beacon Hills and started experimenting on students from the high school, turning them into chimeras, a knockoff supernatural abomination that could be considered the Walmart version of an actual supernatural creature. An accomplice of the Dread Doctors, which happened to be an old friend of Scott and Styles from the fourth grade named Theo Rakin in this universe, since Scott McCall has killed before and has grown into becoming an extra cautious leader, especially after Peter in Mexico. Theo, Theo had no way of realistically taking Scott's entire pack away from him, so he came up with a new plan. If he couldn't take over the McCall pack for himself, then he'll manipulate the weakest member of the group and greatest bond between a member and Scott. His first beta, Liam Dunbar, who was 16 at the time and an impressionable sophomore. Throughout the weeks of Scott McCall's senior year, Theo would manipulate Liam into turning against Scott for weeks and weeks until the last straw took place. Liam's girlfriend Hayden was dying from the mercury inside her system due to her being a chimera. All Liam asked Scott to do was to give her the bite so that she could be cured of, di of her dying status. Scott told him no, and that was the breaking point for him. Liam shoved Scott back and transformed, telling him that Theo was right about him and that he'd done that he's done with the pack. Scott then figured out that Theo must have been manipulating him for weeks. Later on at night in the school library, Scott with weeks of wolfbane, wolfsbane in his system, due to Theo sneaking summon in his, in his inhaler, was left with no choice but to fight the, an extremely angered Liam, who was powered up by the supermoon despite being an Omega now. Scott told him that even though he had a bunch of wolfsbane in his system, that he was still strong enough due to having Peter Hale spark to fight and possibly kill Liam if he pushes him too far. Liam not wanting to hear any of his talk pursues McCall. Scott holds back and defends himself as he doesn't have any intention of killing Liam. Liam screams at him telling him to fight back with Scott still trying his best to tell Dunbar that Theo has been manipulating him for weeks trying to turn him against the pack. Liam responds telling him, telling his former mentor that he thanks Theo for doing for doing so because he ended up being right. Scott realizing that Liam is too far gone for words to simply bring him back to reality is left with no choice but to use the remaining strength that he had left in his body to fight back or else Liam could kill him and possibly become an alpha. And if that happened, it could spell danger for the entire town because Liam would be an alpha under the influence of Theo and the Dread Doctors. Scott only partially shifts and punches Liam so far back that he sent flying to the other side of the library. Scott continues to beg Liam to stop fighting, stop fighting him and just listen, but Liam now completely full of rage refused to listen. He ran back towards Scott and swung at him repeatedly with Scott blocking every single blow easily and pushing Liam again, this time to the bottom of the library as he is dropping through one of the as he's dropped through one of the tables. Liam again gets back up and roars at Scott with Scott roaring back. His roar having no effect due to him being too weak only left coughing up Wolfsbane. 
Liam picks him up by the neck, choking him, and Scott not being able to breathe tells Liam one last time to stop this as Liam does nothing but smile. Leaving him with no choice, Scott impales Liam through the stomach with his claws, and Dunbar lets go of Scott as he coughs up blood and his eyes shift, shift back from gold to normal. He falls backwards onto the stairs, his lifeless body tumbling towards the floor. Scott mumbles, no, 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 as he runs down in tears and holds up Liam's body. He whispers, hey, stay with me, stay with me. Someone, anyone, call an ambulance. Hey, Liam, stay with me, stay with me. With no response, Liam's blood flows out of his nose and Scott roars into the night. Theo can be seen through the glass on the ceiling watching all the events play out as he gets up and walks away. With McCall seeing him get up and walk away, his facial expression turns into pure anger. He vows to himself that he that he that he will find Theo and get his revenge on him for having Liam be killed by him. Scott is left in shock as he cannot fathom being a true augmented alpha now now possessing Liam Spark. And that is the end of today's what if scenario. I apologize if I stuttered a few times. That was my fault. But if you guys enjoyed this what if scenario today, make sure you leave a like. Um, continuation will probably come next week. So let me know what you guys want to see next. It's probably going to be a video in regards to either Theo or the Beast. Um, as we're almost done with this timeline, we're in the season 5B range of this universe now. So we're getting close to the end of the first what if timeline. So if you guys have any other ideas on how you think the story should continue, let me know in the comments down below. Like I said before, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a future upload from me. We are about 50 subscribers away from hitting 4,000 subscribers. So if you guys could help us reach that goal, that'd be greatly appreciated. My name is James Jade's Corner. You can find me down below in the description by my Instagram, Mot Motuski. If you want to contact me on my social medias and without further ado, I'm going to get out of here. Make sure you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace, love and positivity as always. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. Deuces. Also, just realized my throat's kind of dry. So that's why I was stuttering a lot today. So, yeah, doesn't happen often, but just want to let you guys know why that was the case. But anyway, peace, guys.